Hey guys, this is Little Gamer out, and welcome to my channel and part two of my Get to Work LP. Um, this is, of course, my Beckman family. Um, we have Connie and Harold and Vale and Connor, and yeah, um, I will leave a link to part one in the description box so you can go run over there and check that out real quick because I introduced the, the family and kind of show you around the place. Um, but yeah, in the last part we uh, left off with Vail in this kind of situation where her mom has these expectations for her to uh, and her brother to, to kind of take over the family bakery um, but Vail does not really want to do that she has dreams to either go into the medical field or to the science field and um, she has been kind of in conflict with that as well because she can't, she's kind of torn between which uh, field to go into as far as that goes. But her biggest thing right now is trying to find the courage and a way to tell her mom that her dream is not to run the bakery. Um, and she's very nervous. She doesn't want to let her mom down. She doesn't want her mom to feel like, like she's not being supported in her dreams um, but at the same time Val has her own dreams and these are dreams that I mean they're it's like a huge thing to her like obviously um, this is like setting the rest of her future into motion actually you know you know what I'm saying so it's a big big deal to her um, and she has just this desire to do something to help people and the world either through medical science or through you know the other field of science so she's just like ah but she's going to be talking to her dad today and getting some advice from him on how she should approach her mom and he may even sit down with Connie himself and kind of help Vale kind of break the news and uh, you know just kind of be there for moral support and because Harold he kind of knows you know and he doesn't he respects, and not, I, I, make it, I, make it, I feel like I'm making it sound like Connie doesn't respect her children's dreams, but she does. But it's just that Val has not been completely open with Connie about her own personal dreams. Yeah, she has mentioned in passing her dreams to go into the sciences, but she's never put a lot of emphasis on it because she's always kind of stepped back from it because her mom's dream of do, opening this bakery and running this bakery has, you know, because, I mean, Connie has spent her whole life, you know, working at jobs that she did not really love or care about, but she just did what she had to do to help support the family. But once she retired, she finally opened up the bakery that she has always wanted to do her whole life. And so everybody just, you know, supports Connie in that me means and of course Connie is just like oh and you kids can take over and it'll be a family legacy kind of a thing and, and Connie wasn't being selfish when she was saying that she was just it was just a part of her dream you know what I'm saying to open the business and then it to be passed down from generation to generation and and it would become some you know big thing you know what I'm saying the Beckman's bakery <laughs> you know what I'm saying a a sim institution since you know whatever year this is so anyways you know she was just dreaming really big I guess you could say but she didn't mean to ignore her children's wishes and I think Connie will be a little disappointed but I think she will also be completely understanding and 100% supportive but I think it's just Val taking that step to break the news because it's a part of her feels like she's breaking her mom's heart for breaking her dream or something. I don't know. Anyways, we are going to go ahead and get started because I think I have rumbled on enough. Um, and we're going to have her go talk to Harold. And let's see. Uh, there's Connie. Where's she doing? Okay, she's going to get on the computer. So we're going to have Vail um, talk to him. I going to ask him about his day. And it is Sunday, so Connor doesn't have school today, and so that's good. That's good. And I, was, I hate that I have kind of neglected Connor um, so far because I've been so focused on trying to get Connie settled with the bakery because I'm just, I played this game or this family off camera 
Um, yesterday, and trying to get myself familiarized with the bakery, the retail. Oh my god, um, <laughs> that is like some seriously time consuming stuff right there. But anyways, um, she's going. She's going. To, she's kind of nervous to talk to her dad about this. So she's kind of like thinking about the outdoors and. She wants to become his best friend. Um, so let's see. She's going to discuss her interests. So now she's going. She's going to sit down and talk to him about what she wants to do with her life, and um, about what she should say to her mom. How how she should break this news to her mom. So that's what they're doing. And let me see. Uh, she's going to reveal the deep secret right now. And of course, he's going to be 100% supportive. <clears throat> and he's going to brighten her day. See, he's like, honey, it's okay. I'm with you. I support your dreams. And yeah, so. And he's just going to boast about his family. He's like, I love all of you and I support all of you, all of your dreams. And we can all make it work. So yeah. And I think what he's going to do is he's going to go talk to Connie and kind of, you know, prepare her, I guess you could say. So, where's she at? Oh, she's over here talking to Connor. And she's going to tell him a dramatic story. So, I guess we'll wait and let them talk, okay, because these two are still kind of discussing um, what should be said. Okay, okay, now he's going to go talk to Connie and kind of, like I said, break the news to her. Um, friendly, and he's going to have a steep conversation with her and let her know. And then Val's going to go in and kind of tell, what are you doing? Crazy. Okay, here it goes, here it goes. Oh my gosh! Val is so nervous and scared. <laughs> but the whole family's there to support both of them. So he's telling her, and then Vale's going to break the news, and she's going to um, discuss her interests and what she wants to do with her life. And I guarantee you, Connie's going to take it good. I, I guarantee you, she's going to be like, "That's okay. I support you 100%, and I love you." Okay, now she's going to express her admiration of her smarts, and everything is good, and she's happy. And now everybody just feels like this big weight has been lifted off their shoulders. And Connie actually doesn't feel too disappointed. She's proud of her daughter and her, you know, drive and ambition in life. And so, yeah, this turned out so good. I knew, I knew it would. And so now she's going to discuss her, you know, interest and in what she wants to do, you know. And I think that Val has made her decision with that. I think Val has found that she leans more towards the science field. She really loves, you know, and it has a lot of interest in the medical field, but I think her heart just tends to kind of go towards the science. She finds herself thinking more and more and more about the science field. So I think that's where she, I think everything is finally falling into place and Val just feels so confident and now her mind is freed up and now she feels like, yeah, the science field is the first thing that popped into her mind. And so I think she has made her choice in her career and I'm so excited for her to get started in that and she's like oh my god she's so happy now and everybody is happy and we'll see how Connie hopefully Connie is not um, hiding too much she's in the bathroom and I think she's just thinking about it and yeah I think she's like was wishful and thinking that her family would kind of take over the bakery but she knows how it feels to have to put your dreams aside and um, she doesn't want to do that to her children. Um, so she is perfectly fine with that. Um, it'll work out some way or another. And now she's just going to keep going and love her family. So that is perfect. I think what we're going to do is have Harold. Um, let's see. What is his needs here? Whoops. Um, he's not having too much fun right now. His, his fun is going down. Vail, um, she could probably go ahead and use something to eat. And we'll probably have her kind of go out 
and I think we'll have him get something to eat too because he's really hungry. And then I think we'll have him go out because he hasn't really, he's only been to school like once <laughs> so far, once or twice. So he hasn't really had a chance to meet any friends yet. So uh, we're going to have to work on that because he's just been so neglected so far. Uh, I've been so focused on trying to get other things done in this family and world. So I feel kind of bad, but Connor's going to get some attention very, very soon. Um, but he's eating, and then we're going to have him probably go jogging. Because he's, he likes to keep fit. Because he wants to play some sports. And what is she doing? Oh, she's going to grill some food. Let's see. And you have to excuse me if my voice sounds kind of like rough or whatever. I just woke up like maybe 30 minutes ago and I've only had like a half a cup of coffee. <laughs> so yeah, please excuse that. Um, but yeah, and I'm just absolutely in love with this house. Although we do not need a monkey bar for this family. It just came with the house. So yeah. But we have like a great view here. It's just absolutely beautiful look at the view and we have like a little apple tree and it's so cute and we have this like a little walking path here where somebody has laid down a plate a random little plate laying there so yeah um where is he at we're gonna have to go find him and have him go for a jog so no television for you right now go do your go jog there you go and they'll She's going to be, um, well, I think we're going to have her, let's see. I think we'll go ahead and have her find her career. Oh, wait a minute, that's the wrong person. Join a career. So now she is making the calls, and she's taking that big, huge step, and I'm so excited for her. And she, I mean, it's just like her whole future is ahead of her, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's like the world is her oyster at this point. You know, she's young and enthusiastic and Ah, oh, she's just really excited. So there she goes. She has joined the science field. She's made that leap, and yes. So now she's now she's hungry. <laughs> um, we'll have her uh, grab a serving. I don't know why she always brings the food into her room, but <laughs> she's just like hoarding the hot dogs. Let's bring that in. Put it into the uh, refrigerator, and I think I'll have Connie clean up this mess that the family has created and yeah so this is really exciting ah and then okay, after she gets done eating we'll go ahead and have her go out because she has uh some friends she's met here she hasn't really been able to chat with too much because we've been so busy um she's met a lot of people um where's the one dude that she liked we might ask him out the pictures are not wanting to show up Okay, I know it's not summer. He had glasses on. Where was he? He was at the club. <laughs> Where is he? I don't see him on here. Did she not talk to him? Oh, no. I don't see him. Maybe it was Nolan. I can't remember. Um, We'll chat with him. And see, where's Connor at? Okay, he's still jogging. Who's this? Pause. Everybody stop what you're doing. I'm trying to see who this is. Oh, uh, that's Bella Goth. And these are young adults. We need teens. It's kind of crazy to uh, talk to these adults. Um, who's this kid? Because I've got, I've got to help him meet somebody so that he's not like friendless or whatever. Okay, anyways, the, they're all there. Uh, we could do kind of like a desperate housewives, you know, he's like the lawn boy. We'll do a f friendly introduction. I don't know what that f was. <laughs> um, we'll have him go ahead and meet Bella. Because maybe she's just a little bit older, not a whole lot. What is up with his face? Whoa, 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 whoa. What? What is that? What is that? What's going on to it? What? What? He's a tiger. What the heck is that on him? Like, what happened to his face? 
treat sickness symptoms with rest he's turning into a tiger what the heck is going oh that yeah that that's not <laughs> that's not attractive at all that's not good he's turning into a freaking tiger <laughs> and she's like why are you talking to me oh, ew like what is up with you what is the world that is the strangest thing i've ever seen in my life <laughs> I feel so startled. And she's like, yeah, this kid. <laughs> this little tiger child. This little tiger cub. <laughs> I was not expecting that. So I guess we need to have him go ahead and uh, go to bed and get some rest like the little thing suggests that we do. Okay, let's go to his room. Scroll back up. This way, this way. This is this room. Okay, go to a nap, I guess. We'll have him go to take a nap. And, yeah. See, where is Vale? <clears throat> We're going to have her go out onto out to town and kind of, like, mingle with the peoples. Um, let's see. Oh my god, Connie's sick too. Oh my gosh, everybody's sick now. That's not any good. We're going to have Vale go to the library by her lonesome. Okay, we have made it to the library, so we will get her situated, and then we will have to run back and check out Connie and see what her story is. Um, who is this guy? Librarian Stephen Waterman, young adult. Let's check him out because he looks kind of handsome. Yeah, we'll have to check him out. He's got the locks, the long locks going on. Who is this? Roxana Tubbs. Okay, she's going to get on the computer. She probably she needs to play some games is what she needs because earlier it said that she was uh, in desperate need. Oh no, she's nauseous. Oh my god, everybody in my family is like sick. What the heck is going on? What is that? Envious. It's hard to see other couples together when you don't have anyone special in your life. What was his last name? Waterman. Okay, the, the, where's the couple at? I don't know. Anyways, we are going to have her, um, let's see. We'll have her play um, a game real quick. And let's see. Uh, web. We're going to have her browse, research, s browse Simpedia. So she's going to kind of like uh, do some research on the science career and, you know, so she can be prepared when she goes in. She wants to make sure she ha has everything she needs for her first day at work. Um, so we're going to have her come down and meet this person. Friendly introduction. And we'll go ahead and have her quit with the computer for right now. Um, who is this little kid? Alexander Goth. Uh-oh, she's not happy. She's walking very angrily. Okay, where is she at? Go and say hi. Let's get to know this guy. Val and Steven don't know each other yet. Yeah, we're trying to get to know him, though. We're trying to get to see who he is, fill him out. Ah, okay, he doesn't seem very interested, does he? Like, dude, okay, let's get to know. We're talking to him through a wall, like, seriously? Like, yeah, that, how's that work? Come on now, get it together, guys, <laughs> like, seriously. <laughs> okay, we'll just kind of go with it, I guess. Crazy. Okay, do we know anything about him yet? Uh, Vel has learned. Okay, he's a bookworm, of course. He's a librarian. Let's go ahead and empty all of those notifications out real quick. Because my notification gets filled up really fast. Um, okay, she's just, they're just sitting there chatting through the wall. It's weird. Okay, yeah, we are going to go back to um, Connie because she was sick, wasn't she? Yeah, we're going to go check up on her. 
chicken pox or whatever it was she has going on with her. So, <laughs> Lord have mercy. Everybody in the family is, like, sick. Uh, Harold is probably next. He just does not want to do that. Okay, how are you, Connie? Are you better? Apparently, you are a lot better. <laughs> okay, where are you at, Connor? You have got, he's looking a lot better, too. Perfect. He is so relieved that this is, was like a just like a temporary little skin rash because he was sitting here saying, oh my God, you know, nobody's gonna is going to want to talk to me. Even though he's really confident and he's just like the life of the party, he's still, you know, nobody wants to go out with stripes and dots all over their, their skin. It just looks, uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He was kind of worried about that. But he seems to have recovered and so has Connie. She does not have that illness anymore so yeah it was just some sort of like maybe allergic reaction to something so yeah I guess it, Connie has probably went through the house and cleaned everything up and hopefully got rid of whatever was causing that oh and there's a hug and he's such a good dad uh, he's tired uh oh I hope he's not still feeling kind of ill He's just taking a nap. Maybe he's just kind of still recovering from whatever that was. So, yeah, he's just going to rest up. And what's Harold doing? Where are you at, Harold? Okay, he is cleaning up stuff. And he was going to go to the bakery, like I said earlier, and um, work on the garden a little bit. But with Connie and Connor coming down with their little skin rashes he just wasn't able to really do that he had to stay home and take care of them and get them well again so yeah and we're going to go ahead and have um bell come home because she's got to get ready for work tomorrow she has to be there at oh, wrong person she has to be at work at 10 in the morning so she needs to come home and you know kind of just like bathe and just kind of relax and you know how it is when you first day of school or first day before going to you know your first day at work and stuff like that your nerves are like up here with nervous excitement and all of this stuff so she wants to she needs to kind of rest and relax so I think she's going to go for a swim and just kind of take do a few little laps just to kind of like you know, burn off some of this nervous energy, and plus, you know, swimming makes you sleep better, so she knows she's going to risk being up all night, um, with the nurse, so she feels like she goes for a swim, that'll help kind of make her a little bit more tired and stuff like that, so, yeah. Okay, we are here, and finally, her first day at work is starting. Trusty notepad in hand, it's time for Val to go to work at the lab. Maybe today is the day for a major breakthrough. Care to join them or should they go to work alone? Oh, we are going to adjoin them right now. Okay, we are here and it says Deadly Experimentation. Welcome to Future Sim Labs. You'll be quite busy conducting essential experiments, researching new technology, and maybe even interacting with alien life. It is your job to leverage potent scientific equipment for the purpose of good, we hope. Well, welcome. Okay, so we are here, and this is so exciting. Oh, my gosh. Here it is. And this is, like, I'm sure if you watched my first video, um, this is my first time playing the Get to Work expansion. I know it's been out for a while now, but um, this is my first time playing it so I'm really excited everything is all new to me <laughs> so I'm learning as we go so she is doing her business um, she needs to um, event the momentum conserver so what is she doing right now she's chatting with robot okay so um, invent device momentum okay we'll do that and then experiment on the kiss kiss chemistry lab bleh, and then ask a co-worker for a metal okay perfect so she is doing that and this is so cool I'm like so excited right along with her you know what I'm saying it's just like <gasps> she's finally doing it she took the leap and it's just like oh my gosh it's like the world has 
is laid out before her and there's nothing that can stop her now. You know, she's just like so motivated. So this is really, really cool. So we're going to kind of kind of speed it through this because I know it's probably going to take a minute to do it. And what happened? Oh, it's smoking. Oh, this is so cool. Uh oh, something is forming. And she did it. She invented it. Yay. Good job. Uh, turn on moments of conserver. Okay. Ah. Okay. No. Stop. Okay. What's going on? Can we put it in there? Okay. So I think it's in the inventory. Okay. Good. Place in world. And can we turn it on? Turn it on. Okay, there we go. So we did that. View it. Okay, let's view it. Whatever makes you happy. Okay. Okay, now we're going to ask a coworker for metal. Okay. But we're going to introduce ourselves first. <laughs> Meet some of our coworkers. And can I ask for a medal now? Complain about work, ask about day, ask for medal. Okay, there we go. And then I think we'll go experiment on the chemistry lab next. Maybe let's see what else. Let's ask a coworker for a crystal. Okay, we'll do that. We'll just bum all of her things <laughs> from her. See, is this a chemistry lab? What is that? Um, okay, we're doing pretty darn good right now. Um, I guess we will um, experiment. I guess that's the chemistry lab there. So we'll have her mess with that a little bit. She's so enthusiastic. She kind of just wants to try everything out. Put that back in our inventory there. So this is so cool. I'm really excited to uh, kind of go on this journey with her. Like, to as she kind of climbs the ranks and becomes this great, huge scientist that discovers cures and all of this awesome stuff. Like, she, this, her, she's dreaming super, super big. Um, I think that her dreams are kind of getting away from her because she's got a little bit of uh, time before she can actually get to that level. But, I mean, hey, ambitious, that's what she is. She's dreaming big. I just hope that she doesn't, like, uh, <laughs> you know, get disappointed because it's not going to happen overnight. I mean, she's pretty rational, but I think right now she's just swept away by, by it all. You know, she just cannot believe that she's actually here and that it's happening. You know, she's just like, oh, you know, it seems like things are happening really fast now. It's like everything's in motion because, you know, it's like all these years building up to this and it felt like time, like it was never going to get here. It always felt like it was far away into the future and now it's just like it's here and she's just like she's just like taking advantage of every minute while she's here because it's just like she feels like she's just going to wake up and it's just going to be a dream you know so yeah she's really happy about that um she is like working through her lunch break apparently because she's really hungry but she's just she's just so focused that she's just not you know, she just keeps on putting off her lunch break and her little rest breaks, and she's just, like, working through it all, because she's like, I'm here, and I don't want to, I don't want to stop anything. Okay, she needs to practice analysis, which is probably, what is that? Um, hmm. I'm assuming that would be that. I'm assuming that. I'm not sure. Um... See, what is upstairs here? The break room. Can she get something to eat real quick? I think we'll have her go ahead and uh, have her buy a snack, um, a pre-made meal. Because um, she has to take a little bit of a lunch break because she worked right through it. And it's already almost three. Um, so we'll go ahead and have her do that real quick. 
Connor is back home from school. No need to make room on the refrigerator door. His work is merely satisfactory. Oops. He spent all day socializing with friends, so sorry. Um, we'll have him um, care for himself. Is she going to, she needs to quit. Like, you need to go and fix yourself something to eat. Because, you know, you need to nourishment to feed that brain of yours. So let's go eat a quick meal. Just kind of speed it through this so we can get back to work. Because she's like, I don't have time for this. I've got things to do. Um, she needs to practice analysis. Um, so I'm assuming that's the... Uh, Thing right here. No, it doesn't say. Um, what is that? Practice analysis. Found it. Okay. Um, we'll have her do that as soon as she gets done eating. She's just like, I got to get her. Her mind is like, her mind is already three hours away from me. <laughs> she's just like, I don't have time to eat. And I think that she's going to really um, do good here. But at the same time, I'm afraid that she's going to overdo it because her enthusiasm is so strong right now that she's just, I'm afraid that she's just going to kind of neglect herself in the process. Um, we'll go ahead and have her rush over there and do the analysis. Oh, these machines are so cool. And she's acquired the logic skill. So we'll probably have her read some books, um, logic books as well, just to kind of help her along. Um, she's had two breakthroughs, so she is already climbing the ladder. I mean, she's already almost halfway to her first promotion. I mean, I think it's going to pay off, like, in the work way, but I don't know. I'm afraid that she's just going to be pushing it too hard, and she's just going to exhaust herself out. Okay, she done good. Um, daily experiment today. So today could be the day for a new breakthrough. Okay, she is, she done good. She completed it all. Um, Belle's workday will end in one hour. She should wrap up what she's doing. Each workday can be extended once by clicking on the event timer. Um, I'm not sure where that's at. So, yeah, um, cold in the middle. Oh, she's not happy with the microwave food at all. So, um, yeah, I think this was pretty darn fun. Workday's almost over. I'm not sure how to do the, what is that? Congratulations on starting your element collection. To really show them off, consider purchasing an elemental display rack. Okay. So I think we'll go ahead and um, stop her work there because by the time she gets done, it's going to be time to go home. And she did good. She completed the entire day, and her performance is up almost halfway on her first day. So that's pretty amazing. Okay, Vale did a fantastic job today. It won't be long before academic prestige and scientific achievements arrive. Vale has been a promoted to apprentice inventor already. Uh, my gosh, that is so exciting. She will now make an additional $8 per hour for a grand total of 32 simoleons per hour. She has also received a following bonus, 192 simoleons, new clothes, journey to the stars. That is so freaking amazing. She just made her first paycheck of 281 simoleons. <gasps> Yay! I can't believe she's already got her first promotion. That's just like... Wow. That's really, really cool. <laughs> but I think we will probably end this part here. I'm afraid this is going to be like such a long video. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm really excited to just kind of jump into this get to work thing. Like the science field. There's just going to be like so much stuff to do. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.